Good evening, Chris. I'd like to thank uh, all our sponsors for, for letting us do this. This is a great opportunity to, um, to have folks get to, to meet us. It's tough to get around the district of 25 counties. Uh, I worked for the city of St. Peter's and served 13 years as building inspector. Uh, so I had to work with uh, builders, had to work with homeowners, had to work with uh, general contractors, had to work with a lot of different folks. Sometimes I was working with just citizens who were pretty upset about things. And that taught me a lot about uh, how to deal with folks on all sides. And I would like to very much go to Washington, D.C. and work for you folks. Uh, qualifications, don't have time to list all of them. Uh, you'll find all of us are, are quite similar on a lot of our views. Uh, one of the things that I think really sets me apart, though, uh, I, just my dogged determinism to fight for the people in my industry. Uh, we lived a middle-class life. Uh, I grew up not all that great uh, money-wise, and and I know how tough it is for the average person to get by in an economy like this, to feel that they're not getting represented like maybe they should. And uh, I really believe that I'm the guy to go to Washington, D.C. and fight for the values that we all have, I believe. But uh, down and dirty fighting and, and get things done for the people who serve. So thank you for having us today. Congress is broken. I believe with your help, we can fix it. All you have to do is go to the gas pump to see the Congress that our the Congress is broken. The number one issue as I go around the district is rising gas prices. And as you look at the news every evening when you go home, the first thing in the morning, the top story is rising gas prices. And Congress has no plan. I believe that this summer, the summer of frustration, could lead to the winter of misery if we don't do something now. This is a serious problem we need to address immediately. I have an affordable energy plan that I believe can solve some of these problems. I believe that drilling is important. We need to develop our own resources, permit, streamline the permit process so we can begin to build the refineries it takes to, to, to refine our own products. Today, the president came out and okay drilling off our shores. The ball now is in the Congress's court. At this point, the Congress has no plan other than the massive mother of all child killing tax increase, a $3,900 per family tax increase for every family in the United Congressional District. That's not an answer. That's not a solution. That's not leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a small business person, a family farmer. I raised a family, met a people. I know your problems, I know your concerns, and I share your values. Congress and Holson did a great job of representing this in Washington, D.C., and I want to represent those same common sense, conservative values and that the American spirit can make this country what it is today in Washington, D.C. We continue to build a better life, not only for you and I, but for our children and grandchildren. With that, I want to challenge all my candidates, all my colleagues here tonight. We've done a great job of having a positive campaign, and I want to continue to that today. And I have a pledge here that I've signed to continue, you know, I think, is a positive campaign that we can show the people of the great state of Missouri how we can be leaders and make this state a better place. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you all for hosting this. I want to thank everyone for coming. I am State Representative Danny Moore. I've served eight years in the legislature. I have had the trust of the people of Callaway for 28 years to teach their children, and for the past eight years, the trust of the voters of Callaway, the 20th legislative district, to represent them well. I have a very uh, good reputation for working hard in the legislature as chairman of the budget and appropriations for public safety and corrections. I can tell you that I have a reputation for working hard and especially in the year 05. I am the only candidate in this race who served in the legislature in 05 and 06. In 05 we tackled a 1.1 billion dollar deficit and we were able to turn it into a surplus and we have done so since. I believe that since I am also a business owner, especially we own uh, Target Masters here in Columbia, that I have great knowledge of making payroll, paying those taxes, understanding what business and entrepreneurial spirit it takes to keep this nation going. I have a 100% rating with NFIB for voting pro-business. I believe that the best welfare program is a good job, and I will continue to do that when elected as your congresswoman. I 
am very, very concerned about high gas prices, our national defense, protecting our borders, and I pledge to you when serving in Congress, I will protect and defend this great nation of ours. I will protect our borders and I will work for national security. If you vote for me, you will have a congresswoman who will do so by supporting our troops and our veterans. I ask for your vote in August and November and thank you. I want to thank first uh, the folks who put this on tonight, Kermit, Jim, uh, for allowing us the opportunity to come here and present ourselves to you. I want to thank you for being here this evening. My family is here as well, and I want to thank them for being here. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of background about myself in case we haven't had a chance to, to meet each other yet. I was raised in Herman, Missouri, and I did my undergrad here at the University of Missouri, played in the NFL from 98 to 2002. Lived and worked in Washington, D.C. for three years. That's where my wife, Samuela, and I met. There's my wife, Samuela, right here in the crowd. And then I lived and worked in Italy for another two and a half years. And then last year, Sammy and I moved back to the state of Missouri. We want to raise our children here. And folks, I am running for U.S. Congress because I want to put Congress back in the hands of the people. I'm not part of the establishment. I've never been a politician. And Quite frankly, I'm, I'm proud of that. And a lot of people find that refreshing nowadays. And I think the people of the 9th District want somebody to continue to serve in D.C., to continue to represent our values by being a fiscal conservative, by cutting through red tape, by standing up for special interest groups, standing up for what's right. And I look forward to that. I am very passionate about this opportunity, very proud of where I was raised and the people I grew up with. And I can't wait to go represent our values in Washington. Thank you so much for being here again. And I'd like to also say to my colleagues, echo Blaine's sentiments. I, I look forward to this. This is going to be good. Get to know us tonight. Throw some curveballs at us. This is going to be great. Thank you again, Jim. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. And thank you all for being here this evening. Uh, my name is Bob Onder. I am a state representative, a medical doctor, and a small businessman. Uh, I live in St. Charles County with my wife, Allison, and our six children. I believe what separates me most from my opponents in this primary, and for that matter, the general election, I am a proven conservative leader on those issues that matter most to the people of the 9th Congressional District and to our great country. First of all, the economy and taxes. Even as our economy enters into a slowdown, Congressional Democrats have a plan for us, a plan to raise our taxes by over a trillion dollars, thousands of dollars for every family in this country. I, on the other hand, have been a leader in the fight to reform and to cut taxes in Jefferson City. The energy, as gas prices go over $4 a gallon, Congressional Democrats have a plan. They want to impose on you and the American economy $1.2 trillion in new energy taxes. No, we need to drill for American energy offshore and in Anwar, and we need to get, and we need to, and, and the last thing we need is a massive energy tax, which is, which is why I am the only person in this race to have signed the no carbon or energy tax pledge. Life, I'm sorry, immigration. Over half a million illegal aliens cross into our country every year. And even as one of my opponents supports amnesty for illegal aliens, I have fought immigration, illegal immigration in this state by sponsoring the bill that the governor just signed to give us one of the toughest laws to fight illegal immigration in this country. Life, I'm a former board member of Missouri Right to Life, past president of Missourians Against Human Cloning, and I'm the only candidate endorsed by pro-life groups such as Concerned Women for America, Eagle Forum, and the Republican Coalition for Life. For the farm farming, I'm the only candidate to receive the 2008 Friend of Agriculture Award from the Missouri Farm Bureau. I believe I have a prescription for change to heal our country. I look forward to serving you as Congressman Holsoff's successor. God bless you all. God bless America. Thank you.